Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's my healer here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I put up shiplap over this hole over my fireplace. Um, basically, we're going to be using these frame studs for a support for the shiplap, and we're going to have one at the bottom and one at the top. And we already outlined the, um, well, we already put a line where the studs are in the wall. We put it on this side too. Unfortunately, we don't have one going up and down, but we just going to make this work. We have it going across. Usually they have it up and down, but it doesn't. So yeah, about to get started. nervous it's like my first time using <laughs> using a nail gun but I got this So as you can see in that last clip, we um, came across a little problem. Well, kind of a big problem. The um, ship lap was uneven, meaning Home Depot cut it wrong. They cut it uneven. So we didn't realize that it was cut uneven, obviously, until we started putting it up there. And I was using a love alert and I was like, hold on, something's not adding up right. And it took us what one, two, three, four, five panel planks in to um realize that something was right. But we called in reinforcements and he fixed it. And so it's back straight. So now we're gonna go to the garage and go to the garage and cut the rest of them to go up the wall with the miter saw and be right back.
So guys, disregard all the stuff around the um, mantle and on the mantle, but um, this is how it looks right now. Now I'm gonna be using wood filler to fill in all of these little tiny holes and next is painting. Project. Um, this is one coat and I had to put a little bit more wood filler in some of the um, holes because it made an indent but hopefully this is the last coat that I'm about to do and then after that I'm gonna use pulp and put around the sides and the bottom and the top make it look seamless and then we'll be done <music> Okay, so this is the final look. We're all done with everything. Thank God. This took long enough. It took us about a week, but it could have been done the day we um did it. 
we started, but we didn't have all of our stuff together. Like we didn't have our own equipment. We had to borrow it. So we had to return it and then borrow it again. And so, yeah. The number one tip I would say is when you get your, your planks cut, your shiplap, um, make sure whoever is cutting it or if you're cutting it, that it is cut even because that's what messed us up. And also make sure you don't use too much wood filler. Only use enough just to cover the hole, no more. And I think that's the number two big ones to look out for. But other than that, this is it and it looks good. Um, I'm happy with it. Turned out pretty good.